All right, we are officially back with Mortal Shell on the Saturday stream. Do I have my volume on? Let me just check. Cool. Not volume, my microphone on. Anyways, the hoping to finish this game. I generally have an idea of how long this game is just from like reviews and what people have told me. So uh, we will see. We will see what happens, how far we can get. I'm going to do one last post on Discord. One last spam. Uh, just give me a second. Just in case, you know, people don't get the notif or something. Alright, we were in this starting area, right? Yeah, 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 we were. The only question is... Mm, I kind of have a... I kind of know where we need to go. But it ain't gonna be easy. Okay, so I think I stocked up on healing items. Hey, Moaz, what's up, man? How are you? Okay, so let's see. I stocked up on rats. So we're good on that front. Nascent tar. Use to gain glimpses. Oh, these are the boss thing is. Disciples rag. What is this? It has infinite uses. Oh shit. Okay. Hey, Nuke Skywalker with the tier one subscription for three months in a row. Thank you very much. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, doing good, doing good. Not much is up. Just looking to finish more on Shell today. Okay, I think I remember where we need to go. Uh, so let's get started. Let's not waste any time. So yeah, what's up guys? What's up everyone? Hope you are having a good Saturday. It's gonna be doing some some streaming, you know, the usual. I think this is the hole, right? Or is it the other one? No, it's the other one. Fuck. One thing that's annoying is that you can't back out of these. Nishka, what's up? I don't know where the hell Elden Ring is. Uh, when was like even the last time we heard anything about Elden Ring? I feel like we haven't gotten anything aside from that uh, pre-rendered announcement trailer. I wish I knew where El Elden Ring was. It's really shitty. Like, I I get it that they're waiting for the next generation. Uh, I think that much is clear. And I wouldn't mind that if there was like any form of communication on what's going on. That would be nice. Rate this game from 1 to 10. Honestly, right now, I gotta say it's sitting at a solid 8. It's sitting at a solid 8. I highly recommend this game. I think this is the wrong one as well that I'm going to. I'm pretty sure this is the wrong one too. Uh, yes, it is. Alright, okay. I swear this is the last incorrect tunnel I'm gonna climb through. I promise. Yeah, honestly, um, I'm really, really impressed with this game. The other game that... Other Souls-like that impressed me this way, the last one that impressed me this way, was definitely Remnant from the Ashes. That game was also the game where like, I didn't go in with any high expectations and it really ended up grabbing me and I liked it. Exactly, they could at least say something, you know, just burp out some information for us. Uh, so that just like we know what's going on, like if we can expect the game next year or like three years from now or never, like knowing George R. R. Martin, that fool takes his sweet ass time. Uh, so hopefully they're not delayed because of fucking George. Because 
You know how that shit is. I agree, yeah. And Remnant has great replayability as well. Like, people are... People are still playing that game. I should go back to and play that game as well a little bit more. I don't know if on stream or not. Because, you know, I need to come up with a new game after this. Hey, Dean, what's up? Hello, hello. We're like... Oh, hell, hell yeah. So this guy has way more stamina. I switched to this shell. And... Man, is it helping. Like... Who knew stamina would be extremely useful? I knew. So yeah, we'll see about Elden Ring. I hope that, you know, the announced uh, Sekiro DLC is gonna come with some sort of update for Elden as well. Look at that parry. I am a parry god today. Don't fuck with me today. I'm like all fired up. Say so yeah, once again, hello everyone. I think what we're gonna do... Again, like I have a general idea of how long this game is. Just from like reviews, people said that it's about like... 8 to 10 hours. There-ish. So... We should be technically approaching the end the only thing I can think of is there is this dungeon this tower slash city area and maybe there is one more final dungeon because uh, that about would fit the the 8 to 10 hour mark am I poisoning them it seems like I'm poisoning them yeah I like this weapon a lot uh this is my jam, this weapon. I used the... I tried all of them. The staff or pole arm or whatever, I was not too impressed with. Uh, it didn't like seem to hit anything. The standard sword is good. The standard like claymore type sword. The great sword I was not impressed with because it seems to me that there's no stamina in this game. Shit. Not stamina, what am I talking about? There is stamina in this game, but there is no poise. And because there is no poise mechanic, you can very easily get staggered out of the uh, the greatsword attacks. But this weapon, hella nice. So yeah, this is the area the dungeon that I've not explored yet so let's see what's up and I have heard that they're planning to add more content to this game yeah exactly this is a it has a very nice moveset and unique again it kind of almost feels like a bloodborne weapon Or oh, Corvid's g glimpse of admiration. There's gotta be a crow slash Corvid in every souls like, right? Definitely, if they do decide to expand this game, uh, more weapons are always appreciated. I don't think I can level it up. No, I cannot. I almost maxed it out. Yes. Taste the truth. Is that what she said? Will do. Because, I mean, like, look at, again, in terms of rating this game, like, look, these are, the environments are nice, and what I like is that there is a like an aesthetic design to them it's not just 
what many of these Souls-like f games fall into, uh, to have like this very generic fantasy environment. I feel like this game, okay. Oh fucking hell, <laughs> holy shit. That was, that was brutal. I'm not even gonna heal for this guy. Like, what's the point? Uh, when you think about it, like, the checkpoint is right there. I ain't gonna waste any healing items. I feel like this is a non-respawning enemy. If this is a standard enemy for this area... Holy fuck. This is f oh shit, I was alive. I thought I was dead. My bad. My bad. This dude is pissed. Okay, if this is gonna be the standard enemy for this part of the game, we might be in trouble. I'm going to be honest with you. But again, like, there's zero point in even healing against him. Like, look, look at where the checkpoint is. Unless I get close to killing him. Only thing about these fucking load times, that's the, that's the one disadvantage. Yes, thank you. I feel like I'll be back more. Yeah, okay, this is easy as hell. This is a cool enemy, though. Okay, I think you just gotta be super patient. Would be nice to have a bit more range. This dude is like straight up Tartarus from fucking Halo. Using the big ass hammer. It's a brute. He has the brute hammer. I got Halo on my mind. Listen. He's loud as fuck too. I should turn down my TV. Oops. Okay, so that's a wombo combo. But he's dead. Exactly. I mean, technically there is... Hey, Ismo, what's up? It's a good area? Alright. Okay, I'm gonna take a risk. I'm hoping that this guy... This doesn't look like a guy that was respawn... That would respawn. He does respawn. Fuck. Okay. Never mind then, never mind then. We'll kill him again. Without taking damage this time. So, again, technically there there is actually a ranged weapon in this game. Uh, which is the... Ballista Zooka, I think it's called. Only thing is you need 8000 uh, tar to repair it. And use it. Apparently it's good. I've just not had 8000 tar with me. Exactly. Shit, okay. Okay, fine, fair enough, I overcommitted. Again, if these dudes are the main enemies in this area, we might be in trouble. Yeah, it could be, because of the slowness of everything. I think the Ballista Zooka balances out because it has like a very... Oh shit, look at this place. 
Yeah, again, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is nice environmental design. I'm liking the general kind of feel of this game. Yeah, it's a little bit remnant from the ashes-ish. What the fuck? Uh-oh. Is this gonna be like a teleportation puzzle thing? Looks like it. Looks like it might be. Alright, obviously we're gonna have a look around here first. Ain't much we can do. Obviously, you cannot climb anything in this game. And I assume that's where we're going, into the big-ass, like, sanctum area. Cool. One thing that I do like is that you can pretty much run forever. Uh, running takes very little stamina. All right, which of these teleporters should we check out first? I guess we can go with this one. I also like that each area so far had its own like little sort of gimmick. That's pretty fun. Damn. And we got new enemies. Okay, I think damage wise I'm doing fairly okay. No problems on that front. like something you can interact with but okay so there are three versions fucking hell and they deal a lot of damage okay this is like that samurai we faced uh in the first dungeon right kinda has less hp but damn This dude doesn't fuck around. Okay, some of them have ranged. See, they have ranged weapons. Speaking of fair and unfair. Okay. What? Oh, it's because I have that ability. Shit. I should have been. That was pretty cool. You gotta admit. But. Excuse me? This is a fucking MLG 420 shooter. Did you see that? That was crazy. Fuck off because of that. That was insane. It's straight up fucking. Uh oh. you see how I booked it from that guy? <laughs> Alright, chill, chill. Oh, fuck. I don't know if you can avoid that second hit. It doesn't look like it. That's some... S serious damage. Exactly. <laughs> Damn. Okay, this area might not be easy. But 
but yeah they look cool though they remind me of uh broom tower type enemies of course okay so with this first guy fuck that noise i'm gonna be ignoring him i think that's the safest option it's a pretty safe option yeah <laughs> fuck that noise of fighting him every single time especially when you can teleport out See, but the interesting thing is there's also a path this way, which looks to only lead to an item. I'll check it out. No, it doesn't only lead to an item. So this one I can deal with because they're stun lockable. And one like wombo combo from my weapon basically takes them out. Hey Souls Gamer, what's up? How are you? Oh shit, this is a very complicated area. Are you kidding me? There's so many paths. Another teleporter. Okay. Oh, hello. Why didn't you hit that? <laughs> it doesn't do shit. Oh, two of them? Shh. Are you kidding? Am I trapped? I'm trapped. I'm actually trapped. This is no bueno. Don't worry, I got this. So I should be going back and getting my souls instead, but I, I don't know why I'm fucking around right here. Exactly. The other one got scared. He got scared because I took like five hits from a giant hammer and got up no problem. I was like, fuck that noise. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? Okay. That was unexpected. Fuck these ghosts. I think I'm going to have to rat up. And of course it wasted the rat. But that was already counted. While... I mean the consuming of the rat was already counted. While I still got hit. I'm calling bullshit on that. Jokingly of course. The Night Sisters. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember that. And there's a third one. That got weird. That part of the Clone Wars. I've seen the Clone Wars, by the way. Not unfam unfamiliar with it. There's one more of these fuckers. Oh shit. But it didn't. There it didn't do any damage. Probably because I was. Oh yeah, because this dude hardens when he dodges, doesn't he? Yeah. You see, he has like a brief. Hardening moment. You know how it goes. So that was just an item. Dead end. If I actually can't go back. That's gonna suck. Damn. 
Oh no, no you can. You can. It's just weird weird physics. Yeah, before we get distracted. Same, same. Honestly, I'm really really liking this game so far. I think it's people who are itching for a souls like are gonna find a lot to like here. It's got some interesting mechanics. I think nice level design. And the fact that it's, it's not the longest game but you know as they always say it's always quality over quantity. I'd rather have a a 12 hour game that's excellent than an 80 hour like giant RPG where half the time I'm bored like Neo I think again somehow I always end up ragging on Neo but Neo for me was a perfect example of a game that was enjoyable but was dragged out way too much like how many missions does Neo have like 80 something not counting DLCs if you do the side content but you know if you don't do the side content you are oh fuck wait what unfair I didn't know that could happen shit I just lost my souls that is mad unfair that they push your little corpse or like a little person. Damn. I think so as well. Like they got some really interesting ideas. I think good ideas. This hardening mechanic I think is pretty fascinating. That you essentially have a hundred percent shield all the time. Hundred percent block shield all the time. But technically it also blocks only one hit and needs a recharge, so it's almost like a parry. That's one of the things I like a lot, that neither the hardening nor the parrying are unlimited resources. Because, you know, that's always the issue with uh, a lot of the Souls games, that if you got like a big-ass great shield and a lot of, and a lot of stamina, or you've memorized like every enemy for parrying you can basically just like breeze through the grain through the games this is Solomon I was initially playing the guy with a lot of HP but as I got more familiar I'm liking this guy more cuz the other dude the one that has like the knight armor and a lot of and a lot of HP he has like no stamina and you know I'd rather have a bit less HP oh shit but be able to dodge properly okay that was a That's what I wanted. A bit of a... Not exactly a... Elegant parry. But it worked. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. He gets resolve more easily. Which means you can do them parries. You come around the corner. I ain't about to get shot. I'm gonna get blasted, you know. The assassin guy is interesting as well. If I'm gonna do a second run, I'll probably try him. Where you have a shit ton of stamina. But... Like, almost no HP. I feel like once you're more familiar with the game, that would work. 
Oh, the HP dude. Yeah, kind of. But again, like, I found myself running out of stamina way too often with him. But yeah, you just, like, legit can't. That's a... Uh, that might as well be one hit. Let's give this back. Yeah, it did. It does. Yeah. Parrying is interesting as well in this game. Again, it's kind of Dark Souls 2-ish in that it's more reactive. Not reactive. I mean, it's more proactive. You have to guess. Let me just guess this puts you on the other side. Fuck yeah, it does. Of course. All right, then. I feel like that was worth exploring just because of that. So just two paths that lead to the same place. So whatever. So I guess we can go this... Can you go this way though? This hella feels like a dead end. Right? Dark Souls 2? I guess, yeah. I do, I do suck at Dark Souls, I mean Dark Souls 3, you said. I do suck at Dark Souls 3 parrying. Dark Souls 2 was more like a getting used to it thing. So I'm gonna... I don't know what would happen if I go down there. I guess you got stairs and shit. It's a very interesting area. Okay, samurai. Come on. I thought I had shit. Fuck, I was dead already once. Alright, it's not gonna... Yeah, <laughs> Alon Knight. Speaking of Alon Knight. They're the only Souls enemy that has killed a playthrough for me. As you guys probably remember, the... Uh, the failed... What was it? Level 1? Yeah, it was. No leveling. Dark Souls 2 run was destroyed by the Iron Keep and Alon Knights. But is that really actually a surprise? I don't think it is. This is the sonic tactic. I think so as well, yeah. I think that's just like... I don't like the way that area is designed, if I'm gonna be honest with you. The fact that you are forced into fighting, essentially, for the boss run. It definitely is the worst boss run. Uh, of the game. Maybe except for the frigid outskirts, but of course the difference is that frigid outskirts you don't have to do. Whereas the iron keep is unavoidable. Look at the size of this area.
There's so many places to go to. Because there's that upstairs area as well. Pretty interesting. Exactly, like this is pretty unique looking. Instead of just like a dungeon, which the other places were. Like an onyx canyon, <laughs> exactly. Kinda, yeah. It's another one of those fools. Can you cl crawl through though? No, you can't. I was really hoping you'd be able to. Fucking morph ball this. But nah. It's an interesting enemy too. This guy. The way he fights. I feel like I'm starting to work out what he does. I wonder if you can parry him. I'm not going to try. Don't even think about it. These enemies like really remind me of uh, Blasphemous. Kind of fits that theme, you know, that kind of almost religious theme. Really? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I should get that ballista gun, right? It's pretty useful. I heard through the grapevine that it's fairly useful. People on YouTube were telling me to get it as well. Question is, do I want to drop down here? I guess so. I guess it's like you aim for them from a range and just like blast them, right? Okay, also a teleporter. I'm guessing we gotta somehow make it to that other side right there. If I had to, you know, again take it against. But it looks it looks fairly easy to get there. Man, this is a nice area. I feel like yeah. I was gonna say, I feel like this is some interactable. Oh shit! Don't even. Oh no! What are you doing? Shit! I think I'm screwed. Am I screwed? I think I'm screwed. Because you cannot jump in this game. Uh, hell yeah. Ain't even fucking with that. Have you ever seen MLG? Uh, <laughs> MLG Mortal Shell gameplay like that? I don't think so. I got you hooked up with all the speed running strats, don't worry. <laughs> cool. Alright, I'm very happy about that. I really would have not liked to die like that. I would have been 
exactly. Expert speed run. I would have really liked to not die and exactly it worked I summoned my Nike airs and I walked walked on the air okay so if I had to guess I'm guessing there's three of these holy shit that is Straight up aimbotting. Did you see that? I mean, I guess what you're trying is supposed to do is harden, right? That's what you need to do against. Uh, these types of enemies, ranged enemies. Because that doesn't even break her hardening. Getting hit by ranged attacks. Okay. I thought he was coming after me. If So if I had to guess. Uh, I'm guessing these three uh, torches correspond to the three... Uh, lights we saw up there and they link somehow God you're so annoying Eat shit Okay, am I gonna have to no clip out of here again? We will see. We will see. Perfume sense that that's for this weapon. That's gonna be real nice. Because each of the weapons have like corresponding uh, kind of buff items. And I found the one for this one, which really is the one I I need, you know. We'll see what it does. I'm gonna go and see if my little theory is true, or at least holds true, because I think it was up here. Yeah, definitely. It's a nice looking open area as well. You know, that's also something that indie games tend to have trouble with. It's like not easy to make a good like super open area. Okay, she she just straight up doesn't give a shit about stun locking or like poise breaking or whatever. But don't worry about that. Okay. Ignore my ass parries. Never mind. Yep. I knew it. Can't believe there's two of these fuckers. You know what? Eat shit. Oh, uh, no. I was gonna say eat shit. Let me see where this takes you. Hopefully to the other side. Does it though? Uh, I think so. This sure as hell looks like the other end of the map. That's so cool, those floating kind of platform thing is. Yeah, this has to be the other side. There's another teleporter.
So all I gotta do is I gotta find the third thingy. Fuck it, I guess we can drop that. I do have another of the Homeward Bone equivalent. So if I like really get lost, I can always teleport back. What up? I'm not much I can do, but fight. Shit, I misjudged. Okay, fair enough. I completely misjudged the distance there. Thought I was out of range. This is why I like this guy. Uh, he, first of all, he has an awesome dodge. Okay, it looks like you do have a window of opportunity to dodge out. Interesting. But then it almost seems like the game's the game just like lets you move on, right? This looks like the moving in fact this looks like the boss room. How about we don't go here just yet? That's very boss room ish. Although to be fair, they usually put a checkpoint. We will see. Hmm. Where the hell did this put me? Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Isn't this where... Oh, shit. It didn't take you back to the start. It's just because these two sides look extremely similar. But this is not the starting area, is it? Hold on. Okay, I think I'm stoned now. So we didn't get taken to the other side. Damn. My shitty navigational skills. Yeah, because this is just this. Fuck. Okay, I'm stupid. What does this do? Gain enough resolve from attacking enemies to activate a powerful weapon ability with enough resolve. Oh, it's the thing he was using when I was fighting him. That like ranged circular attack. Do I want to do a reset? Not yet. A lot of the enemies are dead. I can imagine full resolve as well. And once I see something, I'll try it out. Okay, so I got taken to that place. But I was an idiot and I came back. So I'm starting to like put together where everything goes, I think. So what we would need to do is... Oh, but this is the other side, isn't it? That's where we start. I thought, so I think it immediately takes you to the other side. I ain't talking about the Red Hot Chili Peppers song either. Okay, so this is what I'm curious about. Just gotta find a suitable enemy to try it on. Not these dudes, because these dudes are bitches. Oh shit, a little bit of lag. You, on the other hand...
Um, I don't think I got knocked out of it. Hell yeah. That was awesome. Does that only take two resolve points? I think it does. Thing about turning invisible and shit. Did that still knock me down? I think it did. My nose is itching. Oh, okay, but this is where the other teleporter was. That's not a lot then. Oh shit. What the hell? Oh, okay, that's weird. It's stuck on the ground. I thought I like stepped into some shit. Maybe it was actually shit. Itchy nose. So yeah, this looks like where I teleported in. I'm pretty sure it is that. Because I specifically remember seeing these ghosts and ignoring them. Okay. I was hoping it was dead. Right? Am I right or am I wrong? Could be wrong. What up? So if you got like a good sequence on them, you can stun lock them. I think that's... If I had to guess a place for the third thingy, my guess would be somewhere over there. So you gotta get them during the reload. So weakness of the crossbow, you know. As they pointed out somewhere. Was it the Game of Thrones? Maybe. I think that was Joffrey that said it, right? When he got that like fancy ass crossbow. Because it had like a reloading thing. Like an arm. God, how the fuck do I remember that? Oh shit. Pointless, maybe. Good for luring out the enemy, though. Come on, do your thing. Oh, he's one of them? Yes, okay. Knew I was getting shot in the back. Quenching acid. Does that mean I'll be able to get my weapon to plus 5? I think plus 5 is the maximum here. Oh shit, okay. So that leads here. Which means... Season 8 hater, I am... 100% into the Season 8 hate train. Mainly because Season 8 is shit. And no one is going to be able to ever convince me that Season 8 is not shit. Season 7 wasn't too good either, honestly. But it had its moments, at least.
Okay, I'm getting lost. But eight, rough. And it's like, you know, you can't even just say go and read the books because the books ain't out. Which makes the whole situation, you know, like extra spicy. Should I go into the middle? Fuck it. Malcolm, Malcolm in the middle. Just star. But you can get back to the start from here. Okay, what's for dinner? Give me the deets. Homemade lasagna. Sweet Italian sausage, mushrooms, onions, ricotta, moats, the moots, the parm. Nice. That sounds that sounds good. I'm I'm down with that dinner choice, honestly. Um and red wine, of course. Of course. Okay, so where the fuck is this goddamn third? torch or light or whatever it's if I had to guess it's probably over here somewhere but that is a nice sounding wholesome dinner honestly can't find anything wrong with that honestly You can never go wrong with lasagna, honestly. Exactly. You can just like put it together. I had sushi today. Went out. What? Oh, I got shot. I got blasted. You know what? Look at this top tier tactic. Going out until I can, until they close all the restaurants again. Which I don't think they're gonna do over here. But you never know. That's where I came from, right? Oh, that sucks, man. Permanent closings are always awful. I definitely am noticing it more, you know. Like the effects of COVID. I mean, the the economic side. Like, cause this sushi place I was at is in a shopping mall. And there were way more empty like store lots than normal I think stores are definitely feeling the pressure except for like you know food retailers which is lucky because I work at a food retailer or for a food retailer so For now, I am safe. For now. There it is. Cool. Which means we just gotta figure out how to get to it. It almost seems like you gotta... Cause it, like, listen, there is no jumping, no climbing, no jack shit in this game in terms of any other forms of movement so 
Okay, this is a bad combo of enemies. Shit. I should have used my ability. I just realized that I had it. Don't worry though. Come on. Get all nice and bunched up. I am liking that. I'm liking that so much, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, I think this is the way up there, yeah. Looks like a rotten food family business on Northeastern Ohio since 1989, fuck. That's especially shitty if it's like a old family business. It's going out of business. It's probably the worst. Because, you know, like after a while... These types of places are almost like a piece of history. What? How the hell did these guys get here? Shit. Am I dead? I'm dead. You know what sucks is... <laughs> How the fuck am I gonna find my way back here? I already forgot where the hell we went because there might be a closer way to get to this bridge place okay that's at least that's some difference, you know, if he didn't like. Yeah, exactly. It's still sad. That's one of the things about family businesses. The other thing is when the newer generation like doesn't carry it on. So we got to get over there. And I think the way to do that, and this is really going to test my truly awful navigational skills, is I think this is what led there. Let's see if I'm correct. I am correct. Because I think... Hell yeah, I'm correct. Because we were like right over there. That's our body. Question is, can you... Can you Prince of Persia this? I'm thinking you can. I mean, obviously not over there, because... What the fuck? Don't ask me why I thought of Prince of Persia. Oh, shit. Is that gonna... Hell yeah. Okay. Wonder if they'll do them. I don't know. I'd like them to. 
I don't even remember which one was the last one. Okay, lock on, fuck off. Give me my shit. Okay, this is bad. Unless. This is why you get this ability, boys. The question is, how the hell do you get out of here? You just gotta drop down? I guess you do. Okay, there has to be a teleporter here somewhere. Because speedrun strats. Yeah. Unintentional, of course. So I think we got him. We got the three little torches. Or lantern. That's not a lantern. Why did I think of lantern? So I'm definitely going to go back. And we'll see what else. I can level up. Because I feel like there's a boss coming up. This is a neat area. This, wa this was, yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> I remember, you see, when I was like 12, I thought that was really cool. I was hella into the Warrior Within, that was the one. Warrior Within, Prince of Persia. I was like, hell yeah. Uh, this one. Killing an enemy with an Empower Repost. Solomon gains 25 maximum health. Really? Forgotten Sand? That's a good, that was a good one. Right? Superior Moonshine, damn. Bag of Tar. I wonder. 300. So these are all tar items. The question is, what do I need for this? 15 glimpses? Regain last chance upon defeating tough foes. This is the question. Do I do this? just thinking of like boss wise what would be good because I'm afraid I'm gonna run into the boss accidentally die and then I'm not gonna have jack shit it's okay I think I'll be able to yeah Yeah, we have the kick as well. That was a... What the fuck was that parry attempt? Don't ask, don't ask. So I was gonna say, what I'm afraid of is that I'll run into the boss room accidentally. And then get killed and lose all my shit. Holy. Dim gate. Oh, okay, okay. F 
fucking hell she's accurate. He's an expert tier marksman. The only reason I'm like not taking damage sometimes is because this character hardens when he dodges. Okay, so if there's more to the boss, which I kind of had a half suspicion, that means I definitely got to go and get more healing items before it. But I am halfway to technically halfway to the ballista zuka, which is the ranged weapon. I do not like fighting two of these guys. First of all, loud as hell. Second of all, okay, yeah, you just go. They're intimidated by me. Can't even deny that. Fuck, okay. Second time I've done that, where I thought I was out of range. Where did he go? The other one. I think he just straight up fucked off. He's like, nah. Whatever. Ain't dealing with it. Just went home. <laughs> exactly. Got that sledge. Oh, he's there. Okay, I think I've got more enemies aggroed on me than I want. Probably like a rendering draw distance thing. Is that seriously... Is that guy seriously still coming at me? How about that? I do I do like that they have a spin to win. Any souls connoisseur appreciates a good spin to win. Except when I'm getting spin to death or spun to death like this. Can I just kill him? Thank you. Hell no, it's not. <laughs> Got the 11. You guys are... That's some weak shit. Listen. True Hungarians. Especially workers... They're at the pub at 8 a.m., boys. No fucking around. Look at that statue. We no longer remember our name, we are a multitude emptied and reported into human-like vessel, a comforting mirage. That's a nice word. Mirage. It's just for light ra reading. Yeah, it's Saturday. Who gives a shit, you know? Rules are out the window on Saturdays. 
Sunday is less so because work next day, but Saturdays, hell no. Exactly. That's the spirit, you know, without making a terrible joke. That was a dad joke. Right? That's not, I'm practicing for one one day when I'll be a dad. Oh shit, she's here. What up? She's spitting some straight up facts. Not going to do that just yet. Exactly. I'm not ready for them either. The reason I don't want it is because like th these motherfuckers are going to all respawn and I'm going to lose my mind while these enemies respawn. What I would like to know this is definitely the way forward. What I would like to know is what the hell is at the end of this? I mean, this seems important looking, right? Because the question is, how the fuck do you come back from here? Like, if I need healing items, the boy is going to be in deep shit, you know? That looks like an elevator shaft. Just a glimpse. I'm just thinking of getting that 15 glimpse thing. Right? Why not? Really? I actually have quite a lot of glimpses. In fact, that's all good. We're gonna put the drink there. Now, what else heals in this game? I guess this maybe? This does some shit to you. I wanna find out. At a large cost to res- Oh, fuck. Okay, no. That's gonna... Fuck off away from my inventory because I like my resolve shit I'm halfway to whatever it's only 2500 that's not a lot to get back All right, Souls Gamer, thank you very much for stopping by. Nice to have you here. And of course, as always, if you cannot stick around, these are always going to be on YouTube. Goodbye. I said the goodbye like how I say goodbye at the end of a video. Guess we only have to refight these two. It's bad enough.
Oops. Yeah, the two enemy deal does just does not work. Oh fuck. Like fighting two enemies, I mean shit. You know what? Come on, hurry up. Eat shit. It's how you reset the world. Damn. Common. I just want to aggro him and no one else. Come on. God, that spin to win is insane. Come on, quickly. Stamina, please, thank you. Then they're dropping, they're dropping drinks left and right. Fuck. Damn! Okay, that was a lot of... Okay, I tried parrying him. It didn't exactly work out, as you probably can tell. Whatever. I'll continue on. Scripture of Euphoria. It sounds... Almost like that would heal you. Stairs are... Every enemy's biggest weakness, except for the ranged ones. Shit. Okay, I'm not paying attention. I need to like... Get my shit together. To be honest, that first death of me trying to parry him, that was stupid. 8 and 10. Damn. 13, 8 and 10. Oh, fuck. Definitely ain't ready. Evidenced by the fact that I'm playing Mortal Shell on Twitch, I think. Okay, so I got the strat. You gotta straight up be like... Exactly, we only do no death runs. It does, yeah. Those ranged enemies are like the real problem, honestly. I'm sure you can parry this fool too, but... Just not been able to do it. Do I have those shiitake? I do. Shiitake mushrooms. Hello. So for this... For some reason, these enemies are like immune to the age-old Souls game rule of enemies 
being terrible against you at a high distance or high difference. <laughs> but not these ones. You haven't gotten the third shell yet. Yeah, I mean, there's no, re no need to... There's never a need to rush anything, right? What I'm gonna be interested in doing is a second playthrough. You're the fucking hell. The second playthrough is always, you know, just when I'm playing on my own. Different, you know, it hits different. Oh, please tell me there's not gonna be like precision. Oh fuck. I don't like where this is going. Because this is it going into the direction of walk along narrow pathways while constantly getting sniped type deal. <laughs> and that's the always. It's like the classic, you know. When like boomers get on like the news and they're like, why are people watching other people play video games? And then they flip the channel and watch sports. Oh shit, look at this place. There is a lot of enemies. There are, more specifically. Let's be correct here. That looks like something important. Ain't exactly making a grand revelation there, but still. It is, yeah. I'm a bit afraid to approach. Which Halo run? If you're wondering, I am playing Halo. I'm currently on Halo 3, by the way. Heroic. I'll try Legendary, but... Sticking to Heroic for now. I mean, to be fair, I completed Halo 2 on Heroic, which is basically that game's Legendary. Because, fuck off. Because Halo 2 is insane. If you think I have a clue on where I'm going, don't worry, because I, I genuinely don't. Probably not. I don't know. Again, I have it on PC and I'm like still iffy on streaming from PC. I can do it, but it's not the most comfortable because I am lacking two monitors. But who knows? Who knows? Yeah, Doom Eternal. I should complete Doom 2016 first and then move on to Eternal. What is this? Oh, we got a, a shroom. I am a Doom fan, by the way. People mentioned Quake as well. Uh, there's Quake RTX. Which is like the quote-unquote remastered version. I have no fucking clue if this is even the correct place to go. 
I just wasted that on accident. I'm about to get killed. There's a flaming arrow sticking out of my head. I mean, all of these feel like the places you would go. Quake is for speedrunning. This is a, such an interesting area, though. I'm pussing out because... I want to take a look at what's down here. I feel like I haven't explored that big room fully. Just yet. Yeah, I mean, look at all this. This looks hella important. And I realize I'm close to death. Don't worry about that. Glimpse of disdain. Oh, fuck. God damn it. As soon as that one showed up, I was just about to say, what about the other one? And there's a lot of them. Shit. Man, these healing items, or lack thereof. Problem is, I don't even know how the fuck I would get back to the healing item merchant from here. Seems like such a long way. Oh, the tracking though. Okay, we might be in trouble now. I'll use the rat. Fuck it. Okay, I'm like curious as to what's out here where this leads, unless it's just a vista. It is just a vista. Brave Sir Robin ran away, bravely ran way away. I don't get the reference. I'm sure that's referencing something movie or song it's eluding me how am I gonna get all of these fuckers out here one by one python okay oh yeah right I, I have seen that movie quite a lot actually Shit, that was stupid. That spin to win is fairly insane. Damn! Are you seeing that? That is a big ass run back. I'm just thinking about that. We have a lot of enemies in the way, and I have like zero healing items. Shit. I think I might be in trouble. Think we might be in trouble. Ooh. 
wish there was like a way to teleport. Because how the fuck am I going to get out of here? That's what I was thinking of. Like, there's got to be something. Yeah. I There's definitely... Like, to me, that looks like... Because there's a bottomless pit there. And that, to me, looks like an elevator shaft. Like, there's even a connector in the tower. Yeah. That's the issue. Like... I should have stocked up on more healing items, but I, then again, I don't have tar currently. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm making onion bro noises. Like, what else can you do but go back up? I don't like this enemy, like, the fact that I can interrupt him out of a spin to win and he just goes into another one. Is a little unfair. I guess parrying would be the, the best choice. But still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be more focused now, as in uh, uh, not get sidetracked, because I think that affected things that I like went into that upstairs area. You know which one I'm talking about. And here is the... I got shot several times here. From unknown angles, you know, jackal sniper type shit. We just gotta be more aggressive. And not fuck around. So far, this run back wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Because okay, so they don't actually teleport, they just turn invisible. Come on. I think this is the exact type of situation where you would want that ranged weapon that people were talking about. Maybe being aggressive is the key. That better be something like significant. If that turns out to just be an item, I'm going to be mad. It might be the other part of this weapon. Then I wouldn't be mad. Fucking hell, there's a mosquito bite on my leg. Itching like a motherfucker. Man, am I waiting for mosquitoes to be gone. It's still hot enough where they show up. But it's been diminishing. I 
Ouch. You do not want to get caught by that, that attack, do you? Tainted Nectar? That's it, it's just an item. It is just an item. So what happens if you use Tainted Nectar, which is unfit for consumption? And I'm officially out of healing items. This is... On a scale of bueno to no bueno, we are on the no bueno end of the spectrum. That was some pro Fortnite dodging. Okay, I'm gonna have to check out these scriptures. Because I feel like what if some of them are heals? Scripture of this... Next Perry grants health on success. Okay, thanks. What about... This one. Next Perry poison. Okay, these are all the Perry. Okay. Okay, you fuck off into the abyss. I gotta parry her. Because I need that HP. This better give me a lot of... It didn't give me jack shit. It did poison her. Like it said on paper. Shit, 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 shit. I'm worried, because when I die, I'll have a respawn, you know. With full, e full HP, which you do get. That's why I say we might be in trouble. The charge wasn't quick enough either. Hmm. I guess there's no other way but forward. Oh, I don't think so. And then dodge down here. Listen. Did they did you just shoot the other one? Oh no. I heard a scream like one of them died. I do think with you getting shot there could be a little bit more feedback. Oh please. Please, 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 please be a shortcut somewhere. It don't look like it. Holy shit, look at this place. This is... 100% not a shortcut. Yeah, exactly. And the fact that you're getting hit as well. I'd be happy with that, you know. Okay, so this is definitely an involved area. I can tell that. Because this ain't a problem, like when you get the drop on them. Well, when you don't.
that's how much HP we gotta work with. Motherfuck. I don't like the look of any of this. Like I have a theory that I'm sc I'm screwed either way, aren't I? Uh, it feels like you. I am. Oh shit! Speed run it. Oh shit! This is not a teleporter. I thought that was a teleporter. Fuck, 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 fuck. There's enemies everywhere. What the hell is this? Oh, please let that be the elevator. I think this is the elevator. I think my navigational skills... This Yes, it is. I'm so happy I got that. I knew it. I knew this was an elevator shaft. My navigational skills actually came in handy this time around. Nice, nice, nice. That's that's excellent. I'm so much more like at peace. That we have a shortcut. This puts puts things into a much better place, honestly. Alright. So here's the deal, guys. I think I have a journey ahead of me. And that journey is to get back to the starting area and buy healing items. Um... So what I think I'm going to do is I will wrap up the stream here and then we pick up when we pick up next time, which is going to be Tuesday. I'll be back here with a lot more healing items and we'll be like all Gucci on. No, wait, am I streaming on Monday or Tuesday? Monday, I think I have to look at my schedule, uh, whatever, either Monday or Tuesday. So once I'm back, I'll have healing items and we can like take on this second part of the area because I don't want to I don't want to take on the area with zero healing items because it's just going to be frustrating. But I don't want to also make you sit through me walking back if it is even possible to get back. It should be though. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all the comments and everything it was nice chatting to you and see you next time peace out have a good weekend